G'day, g'day. It's Nick here and welcome to Wicked Wildlife. And today we want to have a chat about another Australian snake. And uh, this is a fella from way up north. And that would of course be the black-headed python. So stay tuned guys, we're talking about another python. It's pretty dangerous. So the black-headed pythons found up along the north coast of Australia, the top end of Western Australia, the Northern Territory, and, and the top end of Queensland. And basically pushes inland from the coast up until about the semi-arid zone, where he starts to give way to his cousin, the Womer python. Now out of the two, the Womer and the black-headed, this guy is the bigger one. They get on average between one and a half and two meters long, but there's records of these guys up to 11 feet, just over three meters long. So they're certainly getting up as far as the size of Australian pythons go. Being a python, these guys do of course share a lot of features with all the other pythons in the country. Being egg layers, constrictors, non-venomous, all that sort of thing. However, there is a couple of features that sets this guy apart along with his cousin, the Waima python, uh, with all the other pythons in the country. Uh, while most of our pythons are, are really considered sort of warm-blooded hunters, they eat things like mammals and birds, the Aspidites, which is blackheaded and Waima pythons, uh, are generalists, but they really have a liking for eating reptiles, cold-blooded prey. And as a result, they have actually lack a feature that some of our other pythons have. Most of the warm-blooded hunters, like the carpet pythons and the like, actually have what we call heat-sensing pits. They're able to see, sort of like infrared. They can track a bat or something in the dark. But you can imagine if you're hunting an animal that's not warm, if you're following another snake or a goanna, this trait might not necessarily be very advantageous. So. As a result, the black-headed python and the Woma python are the only two species in the country that lack these heat-sensing pits. So a little bit different. So probably the most noticeable feature about this guy is of course that jet black head. And uh, in fact, some of the old timers actually used to call this guy the tar pot python, because it almost looks like he's dipped his head in a tar pot and uh, left this sort of sheen behind. Now, one of the main theories behind why he's got this black head is like all reptiles, he is cold-blooded. He needs to bask in the sun to get heat to warm up and move around. And if you can imagine he's living in the desert, they have quite cold nights. So rather than hauling himself out of his hole in the morning and uh, being stone cold and risking somebody coming and eating him with him out, uh, unable to get away, the theory is he's able to stick his head out of his burrow and this nice black color will actually absorb heat really quickly and help that warm blood go through the rest of his body and warm himself up faster than maybe a snake that doesn't have that feature would. So whether it's true or not, it's a pretty interesting theory. So I think you can see why I like this guy. He's absolutely stunning. Like all the other pythons in the world, he's completely non-venomous. He's not harmful to people in any way, shape and form. And in fact, he's gonna be eating the rats and even other snakes in the area. So he's an important snake to have around. Now, if you haven't subscribed to our YouTube channel yet, guys, please hit the subscribe button down below, leave a comment and all that sort of stuff. And as always, guys, be nice to wildlife. Have a good one and take care.